You know, sometimes we take for granted the folks behind the scenes that pump out the replacement parts we need to keep recycling our old airplanes or the skilled assembly line workers pumping out new airplanes to the real high standards that consumers expect from, say, a brand new million dollar piston single. And that's why we need some new blood in the aerospace manufacturing world. And in my home state of Connecticut, a state rich in aviation heritage, that's just what they're doing at the Middletown High School with the Middletown Aerospace Program. Now, the footage I shot for this video speaks for itself, but I noticed something interesting that's unrelated to the program, and that's kids are getting involved in aviation, including flying, because of the program. And that's a win for the Experimental Aircraft Association, the EAA Young Eagles. Let's start with that program over at Middletown High School with the Middletown Superintendent of Schools. The question of why, I think that this why is a strategic imperative with now, with reimagining education, specifically ensuring that students are going to be uh, career ready. But when we think about creating alternative pathways for students, uh, specifically around leveraging equity, providing more opportunity and closing the opportunity gaps, uh, uh, programs like this uh, will essentially provide students not only just the necessary skills, but no college debt as well as walking out of uh, um, walking out of high school and having a job and having the readiness skills to be successful within that job. So it's just pretty much changing the business model of how education operates, creating a new value capture for our students, um, but more importantly, ensuring that students are engaged in this, what I like to call re-engineering of education, providing alternative pathways uh, and a pathology for student uh, success as they matriculate out of high school. Right, so when I think of an associate's degree specifically here, it's working in partnership with our university partners, but also providing the actual real world experiences uh, for students here, right in their backyard at Middletown High School, not only getting the high school credit, but also getting college credit at the same time. And then also, um, you know, ensuring that students are in real world situations where it's not just a normal test that they're taking, but they're actually going through the process of whether it be putting, you know, planes together, reorchestrating uh, different components within a model, um, manufacturing skill development as well. But the big difference is they're walking out of high school without college debt. And they're walking out of high school with an associate's degree, but also guaranteed um, a job based off of you know the economy that we're facing. I know that there is roughly between I believe it's ages 50 to 55 years old where um, there's that retirement level. Right when they're right when the retirement uh, boom is going to take surge, that's when our students will be able to walk right into these jobs. Uh, the first year of the program, we were able to uh, have 10 percent of the total student population. We currently have 133 students uh, involved in our program. Um, I have a goal, I call it the 2020, the clear vision goal. I'd like to have, uh, I'd like to have 20 percent of the student population, which would be approximately 250 students. We have, uh, we have uh, 1,250 students here uh, in this high school. Uh, and then the other part of that 2020 is I'd like to see 20 percent of our 250 students participate in, uh, uh, in, in a career in some way. So we see it as a success if students go on to UConn Engineering. We see it as a success if students um, are hired uh, out of our program uh, into an advanced manufacturing facility. Um, but also, we'd really like to see a large part of our student body uh, that participate in the program uh, go on to the, our, the excellent advanced manufacturing centers that we have here in Connecticut. We developed one course called Mechanical Technology, which is based on uh, aircraft mechanics, um, and where students uh, are actually designing and building uh, a, a flight simulator out of this uh, cockpit here, this old PA-28. Um, students will actually be able to sit inside of this cockpit, put their virtual reality goggles on, and as they manipulate the yoke and the rudder pedals and the, the throttle, that's what they're going to see. How cool is that, right? So um, we have a course where students can come in. Um, the, the future of UAV, you and I both know, is exploding. Um, students can earn their commercial pilot drone uh, certificate with us over the course of the year. We study um, the FARs and, and all, the, all the, uh, uh, the data around uh, being able to take your test successfully. Um, and 
while we're doing that, we introduce them to you know the fact that Connecticut is is a giant in aerospace uh, and all the opportunities that they have there. We're here with students from Middletown High School who are part of the aerospace pro students in the aerospace programs at our school, and they are also student members of our chapter. And they became students of our student members of our chapter. Uh, because they're all young eagles and they've all taken flights in either helicopters or airplanes and some of them multiple flights already. And the biggest part of that, young eagles, is to get students, young people, interested in aviation careers, which is exactly what we're doing at the high school. So in building our RV-12 here at Brainerd Airport in Connecticut, we are giving them a head start. These are the students that are going to spear, spearhead the build at our school because we're also building an RV-12 IS model there. And right now we just finished inventorying it and the next step is to go on and start building it. So um, my main interest in the program is getting my Part 107 license, um, which is a commercial drone license. Um, I've had a great experience flying drones. The school's done a great job providing us with some high tech equipment. So um, we've been doing some amazing things through the school. Uh, my favorite part about our other class, which is our um, mechanical technology class, is we are ripping apart an old Piper Cherokee and turning it into a life-size simulator. So we've been working with a lot of power tools. Right now we are ripping off the wings um, to make more room for it, and it's just been a great experience overall. Right now I'm looking to go to Oklahoma State University um, to pursue a career in aerospace and the mechanical engineering. Um, I'm planning on double majoring and then after college hopefully coming back to Connecticut and working at either Pratt Whitney, Sikorsky, um, an aerospace manufacturer. Uh, we also work, you know, when uh, taking some of the students flying with the Young Eagles program for the EAA, they are very strong in mentorship and so the, uh, the EAA provides some of our students here a way to pursue their pilot's license with scholarships and also being connected and, and obtaining those mentors. So one of the courses that we offer here at Middletown High is the aerospace design class. And the aerospace design class combines computer numerical control, CNC manufacturing, with coding, and all that is that works with uh, manufacturing and producing aircraft. So the students, it's a very broad course, but initially we start out with learning the coordinate system, uh, the Cartesian coordinate system, because that's what our CNC mill. We have a three axis mini mill here, and that's what we use to get students from the ideological part or the theoretical part to the actual part. So part of our process is to learn some code on simulators. Uh, we also have an online co course called Immerse to Learn, where students will learn the basics of manufacturing, especially safety, which is across all our three courses because of what's involved, either machinery or hand tools. And that part of the CNC that we eventually get to with our Haas mini mill has, lets a student create something from a complete thought process, covers the whole engineering design process, be able to code it, draw it, put dimensions on it, and then bring it over to the machine and actually cut it. So that's a really important part but this also creates interest in the whole aerospace manufacturing industry because we are also building the RV-12. The RV-12 component of it then brings to connect the students to be able to see that all the parts for our RV-12, somebody had to come up with the idea and then they had to draw it, and make drawings of it, and then actually produce them on a machine. And we see the end result of that as we build it as a kit. But the biggest part of all of this is that we need young people coming into this profession of aerospace at every level, whether it's machine operator, CNC machinist, drone pilots, full-size pilots, mechanics, aviation maintenance technicians, across the board. And the three classes that we offer here, drone and flight science, uh, aeronautical design, and mechanical technology cover all those areas because ultimately, we are trying to prepare our students to go into these fields with little or no college debt or post-secondary debt in order to get these good jobs that are right in this area. Um, we call it Aerospace Alley, where all these medium to small to medium size supply chain aerospace manufacturers cannot find enough people in the industry that they need.